hello welcome to this tutorial on morris dimba and today we are going to use the concrete masonry unit normally abbreviated as cmu this is a very useful macro in tecla structures which we are going we are going to use right now as a wall cladding material for the structure you're seeing on the screen here now if if you take a look i'll take you and uh, first of all switch to plan view so that you see how you can see the full length and uh, the width now if, if i switch back to isometric view and uh i'll I come here and rotate this i'll turn this and you can uh, see that so i'll will be moving quicker i'll right click and interrupt we want to place uh, a wall clad here on the cable on both gable sides and the on both sides and also create some simple doors and windows now to access the tool or the macro i'm talking about the con the concrete masonry unit you just mouse over this button here and you'll be able to see it is written applications and components this is where you access all the macros that normally make your work easier here just click on it and just type here cmu and these three macros will come up and the second one going right will uh, the one we are we are going to use now i'll just double click on it just to see the dialog box or the uh, property window of this macro now you can see the height of the wall is 3.048 meters and uh, you can see all these measurements and this is where you control how uh, your wall clad will look now the shape of the block you can you can pick from here just click on this button and you have variety of blocks to pick from uh, currently we are using the block cmu block 8 at the moment and uh, once you've you've picked on a particular one you want to use just click ok and give it an ok and then you'll see it will reflect here also the the material you can just click on that and select the particular material you are going to use at this moment we, we are use the the, the, uh, the c60 right here now we will not, we'll not go, go much deep in, into this because we are, we are expecting to discuss this on the second presentation so i'll just brief you but uh, this is not that briefly a uh, brief uh, tutorial but it has it it, it goes slightly deeper by giving some uh, information that will be useful to you when you want to create the wall clad using this macro now if i come to end conditions here this is, is where you'll be able to pick on uh, how you want your wall to to stretch or, or to touch both ends of the length now i'll we'll work with the one with the, with this one for the time being bond change this to zero because we don't need any and i'll go ahead and click modify and apply and apply and still we've not uh, fed a, uh, some uh, measurements we i want first of all to define the height of our wall clad i'll come back to all attributes and change this from three meters and uh, one, we'll change this to 11 meters high 11 meters high and i'll come here and click modify i'll apply it and give it an okay right here now we'll go straight away and start placing our wall and i'll start with with the the side clad i'll first of all snap on this end i'll snap on this end and snap there then I define the length of my wall by clicking the two points then i'll click i'll click on this the final point to define the length of my, of my wall you can see up here you can see up here it is 120 meters length it's a very long wall then i'll snap right there and we'll give it some time to load the wall settings there we are our wall is complete and just right click and come to interrupt to terminate that wall command then we'll turn this round and we'll be able to see that our wall is actually in place we will not use copying copy command to copy at this end because it will take us a lot of time 
for the copy command to read all this and uh, copy make a copy at this end so we'll just go straight and copy it at uh, i mean on this on this side of the building now i'll come to uh, rotate and uh, rotate that because i want to target the bottom end here at the moment don't worry about the pad footings don't worry don't worry about the uh, column bases don't worry about the pl plinth beams today is just on how to use this tool the cmu or the concrete uh, masonry you need to wall to use a wall to clad your wall uh, to, or to clad your structure and take the structures and if you don't know how to create the the the, uh, the column bases and the pad footings just place that comment down there or just go through the videos you'll bump on a particular video that will this will be taking you will be taking through on how to create the pad footings and the column bases and also the plinth beams now let's go ahead and click and 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 activate our macro and create the walls the other wall clad i'll define that as my first point then i want it want that wall to stretch from that spot or from that point all the way to this end i'm turning this structure upside down so that i can be able to access these points without any obstruction now you can see here it is 120 meters and i'll snap on that point to define the full length of my wall by clicking on it right there and give it some time to load the wall there we are and uh, our wall has been created and i'll right click and click interrupt to terminate that command and come to navigate and rotate with this with the mouse here then uh, i'll zoom it out to check whether this has been done perfectly well I'm, I'm using i'm creating this wall on that side and creating this side manually and avoiding the copy reason being the length of this wall is long very long so it will take a lot of time to use a copy command to copy it from this end to that end because it will take a lot of time for that command to read all these components it takes a lot of time to read all these components then invoke the copy command to take place on the other end it will take a lot of time depending on the specs of your computer though my my computer specs is slightly high and this if it is high taking this long what about others that has lower specs now i'll come at the far end here with the gable side here and I'll, come, I'll go to view here and i want to rotate this to see the bottom end right here right click and click interrupt then come to see cmu wall here and i want to create a gable wall here i'll snap on that point i'll define start defining the length of my of my wall and i want it to terminate right at the center of this point and we'll give it time time to place the wall in place our wall is complete and what we're going to do next just right click and click interrupt to terminate that command then come to navigate and you want to rotate this remember i told you that you can use whichever command that uh, that makes your work move a bit faster you can use the con you can use the the keyboard shortcuts you can use the this menu bar on the menu bar here the, the one that is easy for you to access there's so many ways you can you can rotate your model now let's copy this uh, uh, um, wall at the gable to the other end the options are, are two we can copy this or create it just the way we did this copy uh, creating it the way we did this we, the way we did this one is it's very easy than copying because copying will take a lot of time for the command to read all these components then uh, create a copy on that end on that end now it's just better to create a new one and to do that just come here and navigate and rotate this instead of in, in using the copy command that will take slightly a bit of time trying to read all those components and create and then invoke a copy command or allow the copy copying to take place now let me just define that and this is 30 meters you can see that the 30 meters is here and uh, I'll, uh, I'll define my length right on that spot there we are and uh, let's switch back to where we were turn this to isometric view 
if I click on empty screen, you'll be able to see our wall is in place. We are not done yet, so don't worry so much that uh, today we are slightly, we are a bit we are so brief, and uh, you haven't learned anything. But I think uh, at this at this point you've uh, grasped something, or you've uh, gotten something out of this. Now. I'll double click on this wall so, so that we can access the property window of this macro. You can double click on the wall or you can just double click on the macro itself. If you click on the macro itself, the property window will load very fast. And you click on the wall, depending on the size of your wall, the, macro, the, the property window will take some time to appear because of the size of the wall. So we'll we did a mistake by clicking on the wall and we did not take into account that it will take some time because the wall is so big. So we'll just take that time and wait it. You have to be patient. And it, it may it's, it is not appearing so we'll just click on empty screen to deselect. It, is, it has appeared and this is what we have. Or what you can do just click on empty screen then double click here so our wall was this wall is this is where you control the height of the wall this is 11 meters our wall is 11 meters and uh, on the position you can play with the position of your wall maybe in front or middle or uh, or front this is how you shift the position of your wall. The end or at wall attributes, this, this is how you change that. If you want to change the blocks, you just click on this button and you'll be able to pick on the, uh, the appropriate size of, your of the blocks you want to use. And uh, once you've picked, just click OK and you'll be able to, uh, it will be able to reflect on this end. Same to material. Just do the same thing. What attributes? This where you pick them. That's all. End conditions. You pick how the wall will be arranged, how the blocks will be arranged, and the bond main. You can change that to zero. Just deactivate that. A bond main, bond end, rebar. You can include the rebars if you want on the on the bond main but in this case we we don't need it we just fed zero so that to get rid of it vertical bars you can use and uh, this is how you can manipulate that and that's all about that i'll close this and the next point we are going we are going to slightly on how to create some opening some openings on our building so from here i'll pick on these wall openings and i want to create a, a, a door here so i'll click on this wall so once it is selected you'll see a plus sign on my cursor right now it, it is not activated it, it has not been activated now if you see it changing to a plus sign and if you mouse it over to uh, mouse it close to this particular part you'll be able to see it is snapping somewhere there now we want to create uh, a door here we'll click on that position and give it some time to uh, to read the settings and apply the settings so that we, we can now manipulate and uh, change the size of our door there we are our door is in place we have a door here and if I just move close and double click on it, you can be able to see the opening here and we can change the height of our door maybe to two, maybe to 2500 and this one also 2500. Change this one to 2500 also and we can change this one also to, we can change this to two meters or 1.5, 1.5 and give it an OK by clicking modify and uh, click apply and okay. You can give it an okay right there. 
Then we zoom out, we have our door here. And we, we can create another door somewhere here. Create another door somewhere here. You just click on that. Then you get some, give it some time to select the, 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 the masonry wall. Just give it some time. Then we will snap right there and click on that spot. There we are and I right click and interrupt that. Now we have a door here and a door here and uh, let's go slightly briefly on uh, the window creation. We'll just snap somewhere here, somewhere here and we'll snap right there. Click first of all right there. Then come and select this. I'll give it some time. Then we want to create another opening here similar to window. There we are, we have an opening right here and you can come right here and uh, click on this. Standard units. Right click and click OK. Right click, then we'll come here and select on this. Select on it, then we'll come here and uh, select on it as, as a window. And uh, we want to change the size of this. We'll change these to 2 meters or 2.5. 2.5. And the height, we'll just leave it right there. Now we'll just click modify. And this is how it looks. And uh, click OK. You can create another one here. Just click. Just select the wall, the wall clad. Then wait for it to be selected. And the moment it's selected, you'll see your cursor changing to a plus. Then uh, make sure you are on the same course. Then uh, we'll snap. Here we are and uh, we are done with this. I hope you've learned something and uh, if I turn this around, you can be able to see what has been created. Today we'll just on how to use the, C, the concrete masonry unit to the CMU wall uh, macro. Thanks a lot and let's meet on the next presentation. And if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's meet then. Bye bye, I'm Morris Dimba and let's meet on the next presentation. Thank you.